Are you struggling to draw perfect outline for your portrait drawings? Or else you are getting confused how to use grid line method? Then don't worry. Here in this video, I am going to explain you all about drawing perfect outline using grid line method in the easiest way. Hi, this is Lanya Siddheshwar. I am a portrait drawing artist. I like to help beginner artists to improve their art skills and make a sustainable income from art. Watch the video completely if you want to understand all about grid line method. Let's get started. Here I have taken Kajal Agarwal's photo as a reference. So when we are using a grid line method, it is really good if you take a printout like this rather than editing in the phone. So this will be more convenient. Uh, now we have to uh, keep markings at every 2 cm like I am doing here. Uh, the same way we have to take markings at the bottom also. Now you connect these two dots which you have made before. Now you get the vertical lines like this. So paper will be divided into equal proportions here. Uh, the same way we'll have to take measurements horizontally also so each two centimeters i am uh, marking it the same way i have to mark from another side also once it is over again we have to connect these dots as we did for the vertical lines now we are getting horizontal lines here and you can see the reference photo is divided into small small boxes so these boxes will be uh, very useful while drawing the outline so we can easily differentiate what we have to draw in each box see like this we have to number these boxes for our reference same way i am numbering the horizontal boxes here now you take the drawing sheet where you wanted to draw and now you measure how much it is from starting to end so the same length line you have to draw here and you leave some space for the border same way you take measurement in vertically how much it is according to that you have to draw a line here So you need to be very careful while taking the measurement so you have to take same measurement as the reference photo do not miss any small measurement also here so as we did in the reference photo here also we are my making two two centimeter markings using a pencil and scale now i am connecting these lines so this is very similar to what we did in the reference photo but here you need to be really careful because you don't want to draw the lines very thick because when drawing is final this line should not be visible in your drawing only if you draw these lines uh, very lightly then only it will be good for the entire portrait see here again i am taking measurements vertically all the measurements need to be correct only 2 to centimeters it should be there should not be any difference it is not compulsory to take 2 centimeter measurement only but if you are taking 2 centimeter measurement in the a reference photo then you have to take the same measurement in the drawing sheet if you want it in the same size if you want to double the size then what you have to do you have to take double measurement in your drawing sheet here i want to draw the same size in my drawing sheet as well so i am taking two centimeter measurement only see here what i am doing i like to start a portrait with eye so here i am just measuring where the eye is in which box it is so here it is vertically in five number box 
and horizontally it is in six number box so i just divided the six number box into two equal halves so that it will be very easy for me to measure the i now i have started drawing outline using hp pencil see you have to draw the outline also very light uh, because uh, it won't be appear in the video i am making it little bit darker but you have to draw the outline even more lighter than this always measure always observe the size of the particular area you are drawing the same size you have to draw in the drawing sheet see it is very easy you don't have to worry about accuracy because you already have the small small boxes it will be very easy uh, you you just have to fill those boxes as it is in the reference photo when you divide the reference photo into the small boxes you can get accurate proportions while drawing the outline you just be more careful only if you get the outline correct your portrait drawing will be really good and also you can get the exact same features see you don't have to draw every tiny detail here in the outline you just make at uh, the proportions remaining details and all you can do while shading itself in the same way you have to complete the entire portrait if you are still getting confused or you are having any questions please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely help you Okay, this is the complete look of the outline what we have drawn you can see there is so much similarity between the reference photo and the drawing thank you for watching complete video if you don't want to miss this kind of videos then please subscribe to my channel i will be making drawing tutorials and art entrepreneurship kind of videos in this channel by the way you can check all my work in my instagram I have added the link in the description box. If you want to know how to draw a realistic portrait, then check the video I have added in the end screen.